I'm amazing. You kidding me? I'm at the press junket for my movie. It opens in theaters very, <laughs> very soon. What could be better? It's a uh, dream. I, I could think of a few things, but this is a good day well, for you. Well, that's true. I guess right. if, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we won't go there, but this is a pretty damn good day. Right. Um, you have been riding a, you recently signed a first look deal with Universal. Uh -huh. you've, been, you've been riding a, a streak, if you will, of opening a lot of movies uh, to big box office. What has been the secret for you to really, you know, to make this happen? Is there one thing? Is it partnering with Kevin Hart? Like, what, what's what's the secret? You know what? Uh, having Kevin in a bunch of those movies, you know, who is absolutely just having a time. He's having a moment. He is one of the preeminent talents right now in pop culture. That doesn't hurt at all. That's really, really smart. And what he and I always talk about is how can we make movies that then set up the next movie, that set up the next one, that um, show a progression, that aren't about the same themes, that aren't him playing the same characters, that aren't always going after the same audience. And so Wedding Ringer is a very different movie for he and for I. It's a much broader comedy. It's an R-rated comedy. I love it. I love it because, you know, I, I, I feel very confident that it will be successful at the box office, but the real reason for that is that it's going to resonate with audiences. People see this movie and they enjoy it because the movie has a sense of fearlessness to it, you know, that it was made, and I got to give that to Jeremy Gerlich. Um, as a first-time director, he had a much more experienced hand with this material and with his actors, but the movie has a sense that it's not necessarily trying to, like, please people or, or be a certain movie for certain people, it kind of just goes there and goes where it wants to. And it feels kind of authentic in that way. Uh, I'm very curious how it's changed maybe the studio's involvement with your producing. I would imagine at the beginning maybe they're a little bit more involved. Are they now sort of giving you a little bit more like, here's the money, go do your thing, give, show it to us when it's done? I mean, you know the great thing about the, the, the Hollywood system is that um, it's all about what you can show and prove. At the end of the day, it's about the bottom line. And are you making good content? Are you making profitable content, especially as a producer? And I've been very fortunate to make profitable content. So my relationship is a much more mature relationship with the studios. And so here with Screen Gems, where I've had a lot of success on a lot of films, you know, I've just got a shorthand with this studio. And, and it's a great team and a great place to work. And so for me, it's about how can I take advantage of that relationship that I have to then make the best content. Totally. Um, I recently saw, and I'm not sure if I should have seen it, but I recently saw the trailer for Straight Outta Compton because uh, uh, your Ice partner, Cube. Yeah, you put yeah. it up on the concert. He did. And of course yeah. we ran it. And, That's right. That's right. Uh, so it's actually a movie that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah. Have you done test screenings yet? What have you learned from the screening process? It's still, it's still very early in that. We're still working on uh, F. Gary Gray's cut, um, but it's, I'm excited about that movie. That movie is going to, uh, it's going to deliver. It's going to deliver for fans of NWA, which are always the hardest. When you look at the core fans, it's always the hardest to satisfy them. But it's also going to just deliver to a broad spectrum of audiences that just enjoy a great American uprising story. Because that's what it was. These kids, they they generated an uprisal, right? I mean, it was it was a good time, an interesting time, and I think it's a very relevant story today. Did he tell you he was going to show it? Or did he just put it out there? Hey, you know, Cube does what he does. <laughs> Cube, Cube does what he does, and nobody does it like Cube. That's what I'll say. So basically, he can't get in trouble for whatever he does. Cube is the man. <laughs> we back him. And I love the fact that it's out there and it's getting the response that it's getting. That's what I'll say. Uh, cool. I got to go, but um, what's the next thing for you? Um, it's actually straight out of Compton. So Wedding Ringer in theaters January 16th, and then straight out of Compton in August. And uh, we're going to try to keep this train rolling. Cool. Thank you so much for your no, time, man, and you, congrats brother. on everything. Thank you, man. Yeah.